Hi everyone, um, today I'm actually going to show off a new feature that's about to come into Science Base. Two features in fact. Uh, these are coming from our upcoming uh, release that should be released at the end of this month or the start of next month and um, we've got two things to show off today. The first is a really cool tool called Archimatics. Archimatics is a procedural modeling tool. It's uh, kind of like Prims but on steroids. And the second thing we got is the um, new in-world inspector. Now the in-world inspector is basically giving you guys the power of Unity uh, directly from within our client. So almost everything you can do with the Unity edit editor, you'll be able to do entirely with that inside the client, letting you tweak and adjust regions that you've already got made um, with quite a bit of ease, much easier than it is, is uh, currently. Um, so what I've got here is I've just got the standard home region that you get. Everyone gets one. Uh, you can swap it out if you want it, but uh, we're gonna edit this room and I'm gonna make it look a bit prettier. So the first thing you'll notice now is that the objects and area panel, um, I'll switch to camera mode. Um, the objects and area panel now has a whole bunch of extra objects attached to it. That's everything that's already in the scene. And I'm gonna go find the, I'm gonna find, we'll add a search to this one. Grab the roof. I think this. There's more here. I'll grab the walls. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the walls and I'm going to change the color of these walls. So I'm just going to go to the material and change the color. And I'll make those red. Okay. Uh, it's pretty straightforward so far. Um, and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change some of the lighting in here. So the lighting in here is pretty soft. Um, as you'll see, there's sort of just one sort of abstract diffuse light. And there's a second one that's actually hidden in the scene that's adding a bit more sort of ambient light to it that's kind of directionalized. So I'm going to switch that off to give it a bit more mood. Uh, so we've already got that a little darker. I'm going to go back to the main directional light and I'm going to change the color on this one too. So I'm just going to set the color of this one to orange, which is making it a little bit more uh, sunset. I'll set the intensity up to three. So we really want to make this pop. Now we've got something that's rather interesting. Um, it's just sort of simple, simple modifications we can do on top of all the existing ones that you can do. So if you want to sort of move items around and whatnot, we can do that. Um, but the next really cool tool I'm going to show off is this one called Archimatics. Now Archimatics is a parametric modeling tool. Uh, we've integrated it into the editor, so I'll just get rid of these guys. Um, I'll get rid of you too. Uh, and I'm just going to add an Archimatics model. Now Archimatics models are just added as furniture, same way as you do with all the other items that you might have uploaded. So this one here I've already prepared. And we'll just wait for it to load. And this is the first thing you'll notice with Archimatics models is that you've got a whole bunch of uh, paths and you've got a whole bunch of handles attached to those paths. Now this is where it gets really cool. I'm just going to move this, this guy into the center a little bit. I'm going to move it over the pool. And we're actually going to cover this pool with the Archimatics model that we've got here. Now, as you can see, this one doesn't really fit well. Even if we rotate this, it's not going to line up with the pool exactly how we want it to. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start modifying it. I'm going to grab that. And as you can see, we have got parametric model going on. I'm going to tweak and adjust this just so it covers the pool. Modeling, modifying this as we go. To find all the bits and pieces <laughs> kind of buried all over the place in this scene. Okay. Might turn this ways around a little bit just to make it feel a bit more natural. You'll notice I'd actually be adding the um, the poles that are attached to this procedurally. So that's actually part of the Archimatic script that's attached to this object. You guys can make your own, um, and when you do that, you can define exactly when and where these things get placed. Uh, which means that as a designer, you've now got the capacity to create models that are easily editable by, by consumers and people who buy the models, uh, and give them a lot of power over their, their regions. Uh, so I think I've got one more sort of buried up here somewhere. Yep. I'll grab you. Let's try and move that out of the tree. I think it's good. Okay. 
there we go so rough, rough layout um, you guys can do better uh, this is just a quick demo okay so if I uh, save this model out room editor we now have oops I'll move that guy back out in a second must have moved him by mistake uh, as you can see here we now have our fully parametric model it's physical we can move around on it uh, this will work exactly as you expect um, so this is just one of a few new features that'll be, or two of a few new features that'll be coming I've got a, a couple more features that I haven't announced yet but uh, will be coming into this larger update uh, so stay tuned over the next sort of week or two and we'll we'll begin to post more about what those are and uh, some of the cool stuff that you can do with those but for now this is a pretty neat customization of the home region it looks quite a bit different now you guys can take this even further uh, and we'll get to that when we cover off some of these new tools that we've got coming thank you for watching and i will see you all soon